Blessed love and blessings way up my fire fam. The big question after the big fight is, did Ryan Garcia quit versus Javante Tank Davis? But I'm gonna let you guys right now hop in the comment section and you guys tell me if you guys think Ryan Garcia quit. Um, did he quit? Um, was he not able to continue? You guys hop in the comment section right now and tell me if you guys think King Ryan quit. Real quick again, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm still recovering. We had fights. My man, Mob George, my fighter, Mob George, um, won his strap. Got a beautiful replica of the IBF, um, IBF world title belt. So shout out to Mob George. You earned the champ. Let's get into the video. Did King Rai, Ryan Garcia quit versus Javante Tank Davis? First thing to talk about is he got dropped once before in this fight in the second round in which he got up from a hard left hook by Javante Tank Davis. So first things first, we got to give him credit um, for getting up from a shot like that because we've seen other people get hit with shots like that and not be able to recover. Um, Ryan Garcia got right up jumped right back up and got right back out to center ring for Javante Tank Davis on his front foot. Now the body shot compared to the head shot is just two different things. Now when you see a knockout, knockout, like a head shot knockout to where the guy is concussed and you can clearly see that this guy is unable to continue because he's unconscious, then we give high credits to that because that's a, you know what I mean? That's a no doubt KO. Yeah, this guy, he's sleeping. But when we see a shot like this, we may tend to not give it as much credit because this guy, um, he takes a knee, he's looking at the referee um, count, he's watching the referee count, and he stays down, he looks at the referee while the referee counts to 10 um, and gets up as soon as the referee gets to 10. Now we see head stoppages like this as well. We see guys go down, um, they're wobbly, or they may go down and just be on a knee, you know, from a headshot, and they get up at the count of 10. Or they get up and they're staggering, they get up before the count of 10, and they're staggering, staggering around, and the referee stops it, or, you know what I mean, whatever, they're just unable to continue. We may tend to look past a, a shot like this. We may tend to look past um, the seriousness and the effect that a shot like this has um, on the human body in comparison to a headshot where we see the reaction that the headshot causes. So I want you guys to really, really, really understand something. Um, this is a devastating shot, a devastating shot. Look how low Tank Davis was before he threw that shot. He's looking right at the area. Just look at him. He's looking right at the area. This type of shot is the equivalence of a headshot KO where you see the person go down on a knee and they watch the referee count to 10 or they get up and they're on wobbly knees and they're unable to continue. Um, this is the equivalence to that. The difference is, is that this type of shot just doesn't warrant that type of reaction from the body. This type of shot warrants a different type of reaction in which we can't really see. But if you look closely, I mean, you can see the life come out of Ryan Garcia and you can see that he that he 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 tried to to take the shot. He takes the shot, he backs up a few times, he throws out a little a few parring jabs and then he takes a knee. And he is really 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 um in agony. He's in he's in pain. Um, and you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Tank knows it. Tank's looking at him. Tank hops on the front foot. So it's 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 no it, it's no it's no disguise. Like he was hurt. So we'll reference the Hector Luis Garcia fight, in which Hector Luis Garcia was hit so hard by Javante Tank Davis that he said he couldn't see. He lost his eyesight. Now I've had two fighters. In the past, um, in a two month span, two fighters, one a pro and one an amateur, get hit with shots during a fight in which both of them said they could not see. The pro, he rocked his opponent and had his opponent nearly out of there 
and he jumped in um, wild and got hit with a shot. And he said he got hit so hard, he heard the crowd cheer. He thought that he dropped his opponent. And what made him realize that he didn't drop his opponent is when his opponent hit him again. And he was like, oh, shit, I didn't I didn't drop him like I'm, I'm wobbly. <laughs> now, shout out to him because um, he finished the fight, you know what I'm saying? And he won the fight. You know what I mean? Now, I had an amateur fighter, a heavyweight get rocked um, in a fight in kind of the same um, situation. And he said he couldn't see, you know what I'm saying? But he also um, finished the fight. Now, I'm not taking anything away from Hector Luis Garcia because um, neither of my fighters were fighting a fighter like Javante Davis. Well, I say neither of them were fighting Javante Davis, but they were both in there with guys, you know, that were trying to get them out of there. You know what I mean? Now, I say all of that to say this. There are things that happen in boxing fights and boxing matches that the average person, maybe the average fan watching, typically the person who has never box before or who has never experienced anything like this so there are things that happen that just we as the normal fan um watching we're not aware of me having experience in boxing being a boxer being a boxing trainer now i can speak on these things because i've experienced um certain things i've seen some of my fighters experience certain things i've seen fighters get dropped from body shots and not be able to get up from the 10 count like in front of me, in the gym, in sparring, um, in real fights, you know, so it's easy for someone who has never experienced anything um, to that nature to say that a body shot like this, um, you know, wasn't effective or it wasn't even a hard punch. Now, me, myself, I've done videos saying that Hector Luis Garcia, he quit against Cenk Tavis. I understand that he couldn't see. I've experienced fighters, my fighters who have gotten hit with shots um and they couldn't see um and they didn't quit but again they weren't fighting um javante davis um you know nevertheless he quit but again who wants to be in there with a fighter like javante davis when you can't see so this is the exact same situation as king rye ryan garcia could he have gotten up yes because he got up right at the count of 10 could it could he have gotten up a second before that yes he could have but would he have been able to compete against javante tank davis if he would have gotten up the question to that answer is no if he would have gotten up he would have got absolutely punished um and destroyed if not knocked out clean um with a headshot and that's what he wasn't willing to go through so did he quit versus Javante Tank Davis? Yes, he did quit. But does he have, did he have a good reason? Um, absolutely. Because he was unable to compete with what, with what Javante Davis was about to bring um, to the table. You see Javante Davis hopped right on his front foot. So at this point, it was a wrap for King Ryan Garcia. And like I said, he just wasn't willing to go through um, what was about to happen after that debilitating body shot you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section did he quit i hope you guys stay to the end of the video until the next video protect yourself at all times keep fighting your fighters coach fighters is real life boxing